Right now, let's go ahead and take a look at the Arkansas Department of Health's latest report on COVID-19. So as of Sunday, we saw 642 new cases of the virus across the state. This brings the total number to over 38,600 since March. The state has 6,600 active cases. 401 people have died. With more coronavirus cases popping up, the Arkansas Department of Health is considering broadening the scope. Mandy Knoll explains how ADH plans to track cases going forward. Mandy? The Arkansas Department of Health says it may begin tracking what it calls probable cases. A probable case includes three factors. If you've taken an antigen or antibody test, you have clinical symptoms, or you've been in contact with someone who's positive. If you meet two of those, you're considered a probable case. The Department of Health says it'll likely soon count these among other reports. So that we have an accurate um, count for the total number of cases in Arkansas, whether it's confirmed or probable. There's still real cases either way. Health professionals say that probable cases should still be considered real cases, meaning isolation and investigation into the potential spread are important. Suzanne. Andy, thanks. Staying on this topic here, ADH requested permission to spend more on COVID-19 relief in minority communities. But the Arkansas Legislative Council voted to delay that request. Governor Hutchinson hopes it will be reconsidered this week. He says it's urgent to improve and increase contact tracing and work in minority populations across the state. The Pulaski County Sheriff's Office is looking for a man wanted on several charges. Maurice Everett is wanted for endangering the welfare of a minor and interference with child custody. There's a reward of up to $1,000 for information that leads to an arrest. If you know where he is, call the Crime Stoppers tip line. Attorney General Leslie Rutledge is warning Arkansans about more Social Security scams. There's actually been an increase in complaints where scammers are pretending to be from the Social Security Administration. The scammers threaten people into providing personal information and ask for money. The government will never call you for financial information. Hundreds of votes showed support for President Trump at Lake Hamilton and Garland County. Voters came out from across the state to be a part of Sunday's parade. Organizers then hosted the party in the cove which included live music and other activities. 604, let's check with meteorologist Pat Walker with a look at your Monday forecast. What can we expect, Pat? All right, well, we can expect a hot, humid day, some isolated showers and storms. All right, so there you go. Can't show you just yet. So is, that, is that Lauren setting up the camera over there for the reveal? I, I, did, didn't, I didn't show you ahead of time. All right, are you ready, Lauren? You ready to go? Ready. All right, here we go. There you go. You can't really make it out. They're nasty little teddy bears, right? But what are the teddy bears doing? Can you see it? Can you see what he's doing? Uh, what's he doing? Is that the pose? Like the height pose? It's not the height. He's dabbing. He's a dabbing. What does that have to do with Auburn? Who, did, who started the dab? Was it Cam? Cam Newton, yes. The you could have said, uh, wasn't he? Now he's in uh, New England, right? Is he in New England now? He's not in Is he, isn't he on the Patriots? I don't know. Now? Where's DJ? Where'd, yeah. Where okay. is he? He's a Pats now. So he's a Pats. Wow. Okay. Well, I don't like Cam Newton. That's not why I got these socks. I just think they're cute. Little teddy bears. Yeah, so way out there, right? Yeah. So benefiting the Ken Brindley Memorial Foundation, trying to raise awareness for water safety and swim safety and provide lessons and life jackets, all kinds of good work they're doing in, in memory of Ken Brindley. This is all sponsored by the Red River Auto Group. Last week's, or the week before, sold for $150. The auction is up right now. We've got the links on our Facebook page, and we tweeted it out. If you want to buy it for 150 bucks, you can, but listen, it's more fun, I think, to have the auction going and see how high it gets. And if somebody wants to swoop in, uh, it'll go to three days. So it'll go to a Thursday morning at 6 a.m. Somebody wants to sweep in the last minute and snatch it, go for it. All right, it'll be just fine. All right, this morning we're mostly sunny. Some clouds increasing from the south from this disturbance down in Louisiana. Heavy rainfall there. Cold front across the Midwest. And that's going to maybe give North Arkansas a little better rain chance. We have just some isolated showers and storms for central Arkansas this afternoon. So 10% chance rain at noon, 10% chance rain at 5 o'clock with a high temperature of 91 this afternoon.